I asked you for your cursed and wacky ideas, and I've spent the last week turning them into a playable, that's optimistic, potentially playable game. Like this, beans falling from the sky. Don't worry, they're just here for emotional support. They won't hurt you. Your ideas were actually so horrible and unplayable that I had to sort them into sections. Starting with, okay, not too bad, and ending with this. Also, this was a really hard challenge, so consider subscribing since like 0% of you guys are actually subscribed. Thank you. Okay, first idea. Run and gun where you choose between different fruit to play as. Strawberry can shoot seeds from his body, orange can roll around, watermelon shoots little watermelons that explode. Okay, I can do that. I started by creating our free fruits inside of Blender. Not literally a Blender, but the program Blender. You get it? It's funny because fruits and Blender make a smoothie, and like Blender is a 3D modeling software. <laughs> Anyways, here they are. I gave them some arms and legs so they can run around and not just sit doing, um, nothing. Inside of Unity, I also created some animations, which have their charm. Next up, I needed to write a character controller script. I ended up making it really basic, just WASD to run around and space to jump. All of which is possible because of the rigid body. For the camera, I opted to make it third person since we want to actually see the fruits. So I created a camera script that targets the player and follows him with a delay. And of course rotates around with the mouse. So we have the fruits but now we need to add their corresponding abilities. For the strawberry, I created the seed model and made it shoot forwards when left clicking. For this, I just created a ray cast from the player forwards and have the projectile follow that. The watermelon was very similar, but this time instead of making the projectile move in a straight line, I made it follow a curve, so that it looks like you're actually throwing little watermelons. And finally for the orange, I created a rolling animation, and when you hold left click you start rolling around with some extra speed. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by GameMaker. Alright, so I'm gonna try and make another cursed idea in GameMaker in one minute while I talk to you about it. GameMaker is a friendly game engine for both beginner and advanced users. It can be used to make cross-platform games for desktop, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo and more. Alright, let's make an, uh, an egg. It has been used to make successful games such as Undertale, Hotline Miami and Hyper Light Drifter. GameMaker also has no level of entry, meaning that anyone can start making games. Alright, looking great so far. Something I love is that everything you need to make games is in the engine itself. You won't ever need third-party software to do anything. This includes having the ability to create sprites, edit scripts, and create animations, all within GameMaker. Okay, so let's make the egg spawn when I uh, left-click. You don't even have to write a line of code if you don't want to, as GameMaker has a drag-and-drop system included too. Oh, I know, let's make it spin too. If you ever get stuck, GameMaker has a ton of tutorials, videos, and other resources to help you out. GameMaker has a massive community on its forum, Discord, and even subreddit, where you can chat with other users, get help, and learn things. Alright, okay, that is time. I mean, we technically got the idea made in GameMaker in just a minute. So, I count that as a win. You can try GameMaker for free right now, with a link in the description below. Now, let's continue. Next idea. Magnets accept they magnetant. <laughs> okay. I created a magnet model inside of Blender, and then gave it some materials in Unity. Then, I created this pick object in the scene. The player can now go into it to pick it up, and as you can see, we can hold the magnet. And if you right click, you can start using it. Except it's useless, it literally doesn't do anything. Why did I waste 20 minutes of my time doing this? So, I don't know. Next idea, again? You should add a frog that shoots lasers. Okay. For this idea, I ended up downloading a model from Polypizza, because attempting to model a frog, well, won't work for me. Only issue is that there is no animations. So I improvised and made my own. So guys, look, we have the um, idle animation, then we have the moving animation, and then we have the jumping animation. They're different, okay? Now I needed to write the frog logic. I gave the frog four states, standing still, roaming, jumping, and shooting big boom laser in your face. The frog will essentially be in the roaming state at all times, and then at random intervals, jump. Also, every so often he will stop moving and open his mouth and shoot a laser. To make it more difficult, I also make the frog point the laser and chase the player with it. Next idea. Pressing F immediately flips slash mirrors the level. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I added this toggle mirror function, and all I do is mirror the camera view by flipping its projection matrix. In the game, it looks a little like this. It's cursed. 
Since all of the faces of the models are inverted, it just looks wrong. And also because everything is mirrored, the game is extremely unplayable. If you try and look right, you will look left. If you try and move forwards, you move backwards. It's honestly so annoying. Also, if any of you actually try playing the game, press F and give it a go, you will understand my pain. Why did we even add this? <laughs> Next idea. Add a fish that instant kills the player when touched. Okay, more brain rot being added. Great. I downloaded this fish model because it had a swimming animation and I liked it. For the fish logic, I just have the fish randomly roam around in a designated area. All of this is very similar to the frog, just simplified. Then of course when the player collides with the fish, I end the game. As a final thing, I made the fish generate a random colour when the game starts, so that there is some variety. And I also made the fish be a random size, because you know, we're being inclusive here. I'm not gonna lie, I know this idea was a joke to begin with, but I really like it. Plus it now makes the game much more difficult, as you have to avoid the fish and the frogs. Next idea. Each level slash world slash whatever you make has a time limit to encourage speedrunning. Okay, so I'm going to alter this idea a little bit. Since everything so far is trying to kill you, instead of making it so you have to complete the level as quickly as possible, I'm going to change it to, you have to survive as long as you can, good luck. I added a timer logic that counts up as you play the game, and gets displayed at the top here. Then once you lose, you will have a current runtime and a high score. This high score will be different for every type of fruit, so a different score for the orange, watermelon and strawberry. And you can view your records in the main menu for each individual fruit. Currently, there is no leaderboard system, but I encourage all of you to post your times in the Discord. Link down below. As of making this video, I survived for a total of 10 seconds, which is terrible. But it's really hard, okay? Let's see if anyone else can beat me. Next idea. Pop up ads when you do a certain action. Okay, let's speedrun this one. I created a bunch of different pop up ads in Photoshop. Then, when you play the game, they will randomly appear on your screen. You can press escape to get rid of them, but it basically makes the game much harder. I know it's technically not when you do a certain action, but it will do. Next idea. Cows. Add some cows. Right, here we go again. I downloaded a cow model because it had some animations, plus we know my 3D modelling of animals is not good. Inside of Unity, I set the cow up with the running animation, and then gave it a cow controller script. The script will make the cow chase the player, which is actually the only enemy that does that. In here, I opted to just use its transform to do that, rather than a rigid body. I also make the cow rotate in the direction that it's running in. Now, originally, I was going to make collisions with the cow just kill the player, but then I realised it would be exactly the same as the fishes. So instead, I made the cow hit the player into space. <laughs> okay, for the final build, I toned it down a bit, but it's still a pretty good hit. Honestly, the cows are such a nuisance, because they literally will just hit you into the other stuff going on. Ah, <sighs> this was a mistake. Okay, now let's move on to the final idea. Beans. What's a great idea for the finale? Since this was a pretty open-ended comment, I decided to add beans raining from the sky. At random times in the game, beans will just spawn and rain down on you. They don't actually do anything, they're more there to be annoying and in the way. And well, this comment completes the game. One more thing before the game is finished is its name. I asked my boyfriend what to call it, and well, this is what he said. Gabby, just call your game. How do I spell that? Okay, so I guess that will be the name of the game. For anyone actually insane enough, there is a download link in the description. Give the game a go and share your high scores in the Discord server. Also, consider subscribing for more content like this, and also to be a part of the next video like this one. Also, massive thanks to GameMaker for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to start making games, then click the first link in the description and try out GameMaker. You won't regret it. That is all for now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!